Man, I thought these were going to be like the OG pairs. These look nothing like them. These are kind of closest to the OG there is. I mean, they do have the Nike Air in the back. No, I know what the OG pair looks like. This is not in the correct blue. Like this blue is dull and dark. And what's this? It's not even white. The OGs were a little bit more darker here and the blue was a little bit darker. Matter of fact, this is probably the closest to the OG as possible. Look at my OG pair. Look, the blue is way brighter and it's white up here. This is all dark and everything. Ugh, totally disappointed. Okay, okay, I think you're getting it confused. Um, these are the 2012 pair. It has a Jumpman in the back. Remember, the OGs came from 1989 and they look pretty much exactly like these. It's very, it's mid at best. Okay, so if you're that disappointed, does that mean you're not gonna cop? No, I'm still gonna cop. I'm just, I just wish it was like the OG. But they are OG. Yo, what's going on with your YouTube? Jumpman Chris here, we're coming back at y'all with another vid, guys. So, hey, hope you guys enjoyed the little skit we just did. Or should I say what I just did? But I'm just saying, I've been seeing a lot on like, especially on TikTok, online, everywhere about the new military force. A lot of complaints as of lately, saying that it's not like the OGs, it's quality, it's trash, all that nonsense. And I get it, look, there's over a million, million pairs, and I get there's, there's gonna be some, you know, quality control issues. Nike's kinda known for it, hey, it just kinda is what it is. I think we're just kinda nitpicking just a little bit, you know, cause the military force, Albeit, as, other than the GS pairs, I've seen a lot of bad GS pairs. Matter of fact, I think every single Air Jordan 4 GS pairs has been terrible. I've seen many, many Air Jordan 4 GS pairs. They all been god awful. With that being said, I don't know why, but it, you know, the men's pair, I have mine and I have worn them all day already. And I must say, quality is not the greatest by any means all right i mean i know we want to compare these two the the sb4 and you know we're hearing that rumor i don't know who brought that rumor up. like every air jordan 4 is going to be built like the sb4 not exactly the case and said man we're just trying to do a little comparison of you know the 2012 and the 2024 because a lot of people are saying these are not like the ogs because people are getting confused that the 2012 pair, look, it's white up here, I understand that. The blue's a little bit lighter, I understand that. And this is dull and this is dark. Get you guys just a little bit, okay? So, OG pair means OG, the original, the back when, remember, Jordan used to play back in 1985. So, when the Force debuted, it was in 1989. Now, when the 84, now, when the Military Blues did come out, they pretty much look exactly like these industrial 2024 pretty close i mean uh, the one thing i will say is that the upper is not it, from the pictures here it's it does look a little bit lighter this is more of a like grayish off white than it is here this would seem like it's more like a light white pale white you know it's not like a bright white like a 2012 and the blue is dark just like the 2024. So all I'll say is that it seems like the 2024 is as close to 1989, all right? So this is as close as they're getting it from the OGs, all right? Because remember, I, mean, I, I think some people had just gotten to the game. Years before, like in, I would say in like 2000, it was over like a weird year between 2000, I want to say like 12 and 15 or 2010 and 15 those those type of years Jordan was changing a lot of things up like remember we didn't get a lot of things with the Nike on the back they're starting to switch things up to the Jumpman they're putting Jumpman in all the re-retros I mean they did it with some of the Aero Jordan ones and we all complained about it 2000 and like 16 until now they start to switch things back they brought things a lot more OG that's why we're starting to get insoles that says Nike Air inside instead of the Jumpman. And you know, and we're starting to get Jordan 3s with the Nike Air, even though there are some, you know, GRs are starting to get like Jumpmans, but back then they were doing like OG colorways with the Jumpman. Anyway, so they're switching everything back to the OG format. And 
Some people like it, some people don't. I don't know, I just maybe because it's the new generation, I think they're thinking this is the OG and it's kind of not. So, I mean, if you guys like the 2012 better, that's fine. I mean, everyone has their own opinion. Honestly, I like both, you know, it's great. I'm glad I have both so that way I can still rock my 2012 every now and then and also rock the 2024. Kind of depends how I'm feeling, you know, if I want to rock 2012, keep it old, uh, a little bit older, not OG, I almost caught myself, but you know, if I, the Jumpman's fine, but you can't go wrong with the Nike Air, man. The Nike Air says it all. The Nike Air is all that. And we haven't had the Nike Air on the back since 1989. We have four, di we have four different retros of the Military Blues, but in 06, 2012, and now in 2024, all right? In the 2006 and the 2012, they were both basically the same as this, a little bit brighter, white, and it had the Jumpman in the back. This is even more special. I don't know why people are complaining. I feel like this is even better because we're finally getting that Nike Air in the back. I think that says a lot. But you know, people just want to complain, just want to complain. That's fine. If uh, you like a certain thing, then I get it. If we were to do some comparison between the 2012 and the 2024. I mean, one thing's first things first is the toe box shape, of course. You guys see it, it's the 2012 is a lot more up bulky and the 2024 is more like an SB where it's covered and it's more of that round shape and I mean it basically have the same type of padding inside I mean uh, I wouldn't say which one's more comfortable I will say you know I haven't broken the 2024 pair just in yet but it's not as comfortable I walked around these in um, New York my feet was kind of hurting just a little bit, I'm not gonna lie, you know? And usually Jordan 4s are not the most comfortable shoe in the world, so I'm gonna give it another few more days to see how comfortable they were. I'll say one thing though, it they turn out to be more comfortable than the the Bread 4s, the reimagined Bread 4s, because I remember at the end of the day with my Bread 4s, my feet was hurting. Yesterday in New York, wasn't that bad. It still was hurting, but near, not nearly as bad. Got the, the main pro the main difference is gonna be the blue. You get the lighter blue on the Jumpman and the, the darker blue on the 2024. And also the blue is a lot different on the wing and also the midsole, it's a lot brighter on the 2012. That's why I think a lot of people might like the 2012 better. The 2012, when they're starting to make Jordan 4s, the netting on the tongue and on the side was not like, it's basically stuck onto the side. You can't like, pull is not detachable, it's not expandable, so maybe that's why it's not as comfortable compared to the 2024 and recent Jordan 4s. You can just grab it, expand it like this. Same with here. So it just kind of gives it more stretch, gives it more comfortable. The main thing is the leather, so it is, both of them are not tumbled. It's like smooth leather, synthetic leather. I mean, it's not bad, it's still pretty thick. 2012, these are super thin, all right? so. Very, very thin. It just seems kind of like plasticky, not nearly as great. Look at that. So, and these creased up like crazy right here compared to what, like I said, I walked around New York all day. No, uh, you know, creased guards or anything, no uh, drip grip or anything. I need to know how these things are going to be built and everything. I will do like a full. 30 day wear, so stay tuned for that for the channel, just like how we did with the reimagined breads. I feel like you guys enjoyed it, so. But my final verdict verdict is like, look, some people might like the 2012 better, some people might like the 24 better. It just depends how you guys like it. If you guys like this vibrant, dark, brighter blue, then that's your opinion. But if you like the darker, then that's fine too. In my opinion, it doesn't really matter. I think I like both. Uh, I definitely give more the edge on the 2024 mainly because that Nike Air in the back, you just can't go wrong with that. That just looks, oh man, look at that. That back, that booty is beautiful. Just, you know, pause. But it's just, you know, overall built on the 2024, I feel like it's way more better. But overall, it just depends on what your preference is, how you like it, you know? You guys tell me, do you prefer the 2024 or the 2012? I think you can't go wrong with either one, but since these haven't came out in almost 12 years, I think it's time to upgrade. Anyways, just a little comparison. You guys, let me know how you guys feel about that. But hey, I just want to say, hey, I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys so, so much. Stay tuned for the channel. We have tons of more content, especially about the Reimagined Breads. These are still set to release on May 4th now. So stay tuned. We got about two weeks left till the release date. 
plenty more chance to get these things we'll do like a whole how to cop um you know we're seeing the prices and all that we got tons of content coming so just stay tuned for the channel all right anyway guys just want to say hey i appreciate y'all i love y'all if you guys don't mind please hit that thumbs up subscribe if it's your first time here comment down below and please hit that bell for all the notifications when i do drop vids and don't forget to follow me on my social media at german chris and ig sometimes on twitter and don't forget snapchat i'm also on tiktok anyway guys appreciate y'all love y'all i'm john mccris Push.